Hey everybody, it's Mikey. I'm going to try something today. I'm a little apprehensive. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. This could be a disaster video. This could be not so much of a disaster video. I have no idea how this is going to work out. Anyway, when I was first getting in the dip, I walked into a store. I'm like, oh, that's a pretty lid. That's a, I like that can. I'll take one of those. I had no idea what I was buying. What did I buy? I bought the original Copenhagen Snuff. I like the lid. Stars and stripes, the soldiers saluting. It's just a cool looking lid. That's why I bought it. I got home. I opened this bad boy up. Well, first, it's the old school fiberboard can. There are only two Copenhagen products that have the fiberboard can. I have the other one. I haven't tried it yet either. But I'm going to give this one a shot. I've never done a fine cut. This is like very fine cut from what I understand. I opened it up, looked at it, and I'm like, oh, powder. Hmm. So I have no idea how this is going to go for me. I've been using long cuts because as a newbie, long cuts are easier. They're better to control. You know, the whole floater thing. I'm not sure how this is going to work for me, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm assuming this is a natural flavor. It's just Copenhagen snuff. This is the big granddaddy of them all. This is the one that started it. From nasal snuff to where it turned into oral snuff. Let me get this can, if I get this lid off without throwing snuff all over God's creation. Okay. Now, it is very fine. It's like a coarsely ground nasal snuff. Right there. Very fine. Very fine. Very grainy. It has that. It has a natural tobacco scent, but there's something else in there. I have no idea what I'm smelling. I... I don't know. Or is it just the type of tobacco they use. It smells like there's something else in there with the tobacco, but I can't, I can't put my finger on it. It might just be the dark fire tobacco they used. Maybe I'm catching a little bit of smokiness off of that. I'm not sure. I don't know. If I don't survive this, tell my wife and children that I love them, okay? I'm going in. How much of this should I pinch? <sighs> what am I getting myself into? I'm in uncharted territory here. I'm I'm a bit of a at a bit of a loss. So I'm gonna err on the side of caution. Oh wow. How on earth am I even supposed to pinch this? It's like what the There's nothing like long cut. I just spilled some on the floor. Okay. Bombs away. I don't have in as much as I normally would because it was hard for me to get a pinch of this stuff. This stuff is so fine, it's just like falling apart. The initial floater action was pretty bad. It's under control now, it's juiced up a little bit. It's in the lip. Right out here. I like the flavor. Salty. Nicely salty. Wow. Give myself the hiccups again. Haven't done that. Haven't done that in a while. I thought I was over that. But nope. Thank you, Copenhagen Snuff. The hiccups have returned. I almost feel like I don't have enough in. It's just I don't know. 
I'm used to the long cut where you get a nice, you can feel a good mass. This is just like sitting there. The flavor is good. Natural tobacco. I think that smell was just the way they've cured and aged this tobacco. I'm not detecting any other flavor. It's a rich. It's definitely salty. It's a rich tobacco. I'm getting a bit of a tingle. I have no idea if that is nicotine absorption or there's something else going on in there. If it's nicotine absorption, I might be screwed. Because I'm getting a good tingle. I'm not quite sure what to make of this. This is uncharted territory for me, guys. I like the flavor. The salt level is higher than the, the other natural I've tried. Um, oh, yesterday I was in the council thing on suit tie dip and chew guy. Um, he has a couple of membership levels. One's 99 cents a month. You get members only videos. You get to see some of the videos before they're released to the general public. And then for two bucks a month, yeah, big spender, two dollars a month, you get to be with Hong Kong Council. And on the council, he does chats on Saturday night for council members only. There's probably 10, 15 guys show up in the chat room, give or take. And you kind of sit down with suit, you chat, tobacco, anything, anything that comes up. Last night, he was telling a story about a creepy place he went to when he was younger. You know, kind of place where you might hear banjo music in the distance. And a giant 30-foot tree decorated for Christmas with Budweiser party balls. That tells you how long ago it was. When did they quit making Budweiser party balls? That was like early 90s, wasn't it? Nicotine. Holy crap. <clears throat> I'm starting to feel some nicotine. I think that tingle was nicotine absorption, and I'm still feeling a little bit of a tingle. I might be in trouble, guys. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, back to the council. Um, I mentioned that I tried the Copenhagen Extra Long Cut Natural. And what I was talking about was the cut. That I can't tell much of a difference between the Extra Long Cut and a regular Copenhagen Long Cut. I, in my mouth, my newbiness, I can't tell. They thought I was talking flavor. And they're like, oh no, the flavor is definitely different between the extra long natural and the regular Copenhagen natural. One thought, hmm, I didn't detect much of a difference. So afterward, I came out here and started digging around the fridge. And I realized I've never tried Copenhagen long cut natural, the regular in the fiberboard can. My can is unopened. I thought for sure I tried it. No, I haven't. Depending on how this nicotine trip goes, I may try that later today. Crap. <clears throat> wow. I didn't pinch much, and I'm feeling the nicotine. This is some potent stuff. And the best bite date on this one, I got until December 1st to enjoy it at its freshest. Now, these are like fireboard cans coated in wax. Old school. And there's only two Copenhagen products that are done old school. These are considered their top tier products. And that'd be the natural, long cut, and the snuff. Everything else has a plastic can with a metal lid. I don't know why they're still doing these in fiberboard cans. Tradition, I would guess. I would think that plastic would be superior for maintaining moisture and stuff, but... Okay, this little can is kicking my butt. <clears throat> Holy crap. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Oh, baby. <clears throat> Woo what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I like it. The flavor is good. I, I enjoy this flavor. But... This nicotine trip is wild. It's hitting me good. Holy crap. <clears throat> I've had this in for what, six, seven minutes now? For a little cut, it has big nicotine. That's what it is. The finer cut. 
probably allows more nicotine absorption. I should have thought of that before I put it in my mouth. Mikey can be an idiot sometimes. He can be impulsive. He does things. And then he thinks them through. Anyway, Copenhagen Snuff. Great flavor. If you like natural tobaccos, this stuff is good. It's salty, but the natural tobacco flavor is really good. I'm kind of wishing I would have pinched more for the flavor. But when I'm hitting for the nicotine, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to go cry by myself in the corner for a little bit. <clears throat> Contemplate my life choices. Um, wow. Wow. I think I'm developing the ability to smell colors right now. Yeah. It's like I smoked a triple Ligero cigar. Rocky Patel makes a triple Ligero cigar. Those things are nicotine bombs. I feel like I've just smoked one quickly. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Your granddaddy snuff. Copenhagen original snuff in the nice salute to the troop can. Stars and Stripes, beautiful can, great tasting snuff, and it's kicking Mikey's butt. A little pinch is kicking Mikey's butt. I'm going to go and try not to get nauseous. I don't think I'm going to get to the nauseous point, but such a little pinch give me this much of a wallop. I hate to see what a bigger pinch will do. I haven't, I haven't had this much of a nicotine hit in a very long time. The fat old man is getting buzzed and he does not like it. I don't like getting buzzed on nicotine and I just did. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can smell colors right now. My new superpower. Joe Biden got nothing on me. I'm going to go out and sniff different colors and look like a pervert. This is Mikey. If I live through this, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. Wow, this stuff is... Oh, okay, let me hit the stop button. <laughs> oh, man, here we go.